Apple Intelligence is now live in iOS 18.1, and although the Meteor's features aren't due to roll out until later this year, there are a handful of new tools that should make life on your iPhone much easier. To use Apple Intelligence, you'll need an iPhone 15 Pro, a 15 Pro Max, or any iPhone 16 model, and at the time of recording, the service is only available in US English. If, like me, you're in another region, you can switch the language of your iPhone to access Apple Intelligence, and we've linked a handy guide to doing just that in the description below. So, without further ado, let's dive into the five best Apple Intelligence tools you can try right now in iOS 18.1. Number one is Writing Tools, which is currently the most fully formed Apple Intelligence feature of the whole lot. This is actually more of a tool set than a single feature, and you're able to deploy writing tools for proofreading, rewriting, summarizing, and even formatting content into tables in various apps across your iPhone. Apple has extensively demoed writing tools in the Mail app, but we found it to be a great addition to the Notes app too, as you can quickly take text and format it as you need to, whether that's as a summary, key points, a list, or even a table. Next up is Cleanup, which is essentially Apple's take on Google's Magic Eraser. Like Magic Eraser, this feature lets you easily remove objects from photos and uses Apple intelligence to fill in the background. It's built into the Photos app, so all you need to do is head into Edit and tap the Eraser icon, and then you just circle the person or object you want to banish from your photo. Like any AI eraser, the results are mixed, but we've found that Cleanup works best for pictures taken outside, as your iPhone can more easily recognize natural objects than, say, the decor in your kitchen. Number three is Memory Movies, which is an AI-powered extension of the movie slideshow feature you've already used in Photos. Just type a prompt into the Memory Movie text input, and your iPhone will scour through your photo albums and turn whatever it finds into a dynamic slideshow, complete with music to match the vibe. In our experience, the AI has been able to identify vacation pictures, food pictures, and even photos of specific people quickly and accurately. So give it a try and see what memory movies you can come up with yourself. Next up is Type to Siri, which has technically been an accessibility feature in iOS for years, but it's now available as standard in Apple Intelligence. Type to Siri is exactly what it sounds like. Double tap the bottom bar on your iPhone and you'll be able to ask Siri anything with a text input rather than using your voice. Siri's redesign doesn't have the full Apple Intelligence glow up just yet, but you can still ask the voice assistant a question and then follow it up with another related one. We're expecting Apple to roll out a much bigger Siri overhaul, complete with on-screen awareness and personal context later this year. Last but not least, Apple Intelligence lets you summarize any article in Safari by opening Reader Mode. Simply tap the Reader icon when open on any article web page, then hit the Summary icon for a one paragraph breakdown of its contents. Admittedly, this feature isn't as in-depth as, say, ChatGPT's ability to create a summary, but it's very easy to use and quick to generate. We found it particularly useful for getting the general gist of long articles before deciding whether or not to jump in and read the full thing. And that's it, the five best Apple Intelligence features you can try right now in iOS 18.1. Of course, features like Smarter Siri, Genmoji, and Image Playground are still to come in iOS 18.2, but you don't need to wait until then to boost the functionality of your iPhone. Are you enjoying Apple Intelligence so far? Let us know in the comments.